video uh, will show how to use a PLC sim advance uh, as a simulation when you want to uh, simulate your uh, PLC your program and then you try to uh, get the data to another another machine like uh, right now I have a uh, two machine here in here I want to get the uh, Siemens data uh, on the uh, capware or something like that or you want you have another machine that have a not wrap uh, uh, or another HMI something like that so you can you uh, you can use this method so the first thing that we need to do is uh, in here I'm gonna make a simple nothing nothing fancy here uh, this is just an analog scaling like uh, the row is the row integer row integer that we got from the uh, in here AI card analog uh, input card here and then I'm gonna forge the value so we can see the result here and if you can see here it is a simple block here uh, so nothing's fancy okay uh, uh, but the main point is main thing is uh, we uh, the first thing that we need to understand is uh, which uh, uh, which uh, the the uh, NIC card uh, or the network adapter that we we are gonna use to communicate with the PLC sim virtual Ethernet adapter in here uh, in my uh, machine right now I have a two IP assigned uh, you can see here this is Ethernet one uh, this one actually Ethernet one okay uh, sorry this one sorry my bad so this one okay so this is actually uh, DHCP so <coughs> I'm not uh, gonna set any IP here because this is generated automatically from the virtual machine right and then the second one is this one Ethernet so in here I'm gonna assign the IP address like this 172.18.2.1.2.3 because it's still on the range with this IP okay it's still communicate just to make sure that uh, on the your virtual machine like uh, when you check on the virtual network adapter and I'm using a host only here so the range uh, will be between 128 and 254 so the IP will generate automatically inside here or oh, and the IP will be uh, uh, communicate uh, uh, between this range IP start and ending IP address okay so uh, let's get back to here I'm gonna set this on 30 because why why not 129 because it's already assigned here uh, I'm gonna show you IP config okay here this one turn one this is all uh, generated by uh, virtual machine itself I'm gonna open this network okay turn up one yeah this one okay and this one so this is uh, basically just DHCP so uh, well, we will communicate uh, with the uh, virtual machine using this uh, uh, network adapter okay so we come back to our tier portal in here so uh, I'm gonna select this is you know, communication with TCP IP okay uh, because uh, it will it will allows uh, communication with uh, local communication okay and then I'm gonna just single adapter uh, and then I just the media is Ethernet one and I'm gonna create instant name whatever instance name uh, that you wanna create whatever okay so I'm gonna uh, create one seven two eighteen two one three one for example so because uh, one thirty already occupied here. 128 and 1 to 29 okay so and the subnet we're gonna get the same okay I'm gonna start this PLC virtual uh, this uh, uh, virtual PLC okay now it's on but uh, because of 
uh, this is new uh, this uh, it doesn't have any program inside here so I'm gonna pin it pin uh, uh, this panel but for now on I'm gonna uh, minimize this so just mark here 131 and go back to the tier portal here and go to the uh, device configuration so this is the PLC that I used okay and then in here I'm gonna go to the properties I'm gonna slide this up and up here so I'm gonna set the IP address same like what I've set here okay so we go to 172 18.2.131 okay then the subnet is here okay so uh, let's, okay I'm gonna save it up and then select this and I try to compile yeah because uh, it will generate the new hardware or something like that we cannot uh, so we have to compile first okay then compile and then I choose the online download to device so here is the challenge now when we we will select this p n slash what is this yeah ie and then I'm gonna choose this one because we want to communicate the with the local network right okay so uh, just a start search is it finding or not you can see here it seems like it, it cannot find the IP address right because uh, uh, I don't know maybe something like that so I'm gonna write it manually 18 to 131 okay now it's found okay uh, sometimes it's it cannot found even if you found here you cannot load because uh, because uh, you may check the your your firewall I don't know what port is it maybe you can tell me that what port that I have to uh, 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 exclude on the firewall because uh, right now on the firewall uh, I'm set this off okay because when I on sometimes it's not connected so just to make sure that your firewall is off for testing purpose only okay so just close it and I'm choosing it choosing this one so I'm gonna test like a flashlight something like that uh, just to make sure that this interact with uh, with the VLC here I don't think so selected on the reservoir okay no problem there's a support so it's just this one and load and I just connect uh, just make sure that th this is a virtual VLC right so I'm gonna ping it I'm gonna test this connection through the ping command right now it's on okay but when I when I power off this one you're gonna see that the connection is gone so this is how this work okay so I'm gonna turn it off again and then suddenly it will go then it will go up you can see it may take some times I cancel this and ping again I guess somehow I don't know why but this is not gonna ping it but previously okay we try to load the program uh, to the virtual PLC yeah because uh, loading this has been aborted okay so I don't know why this is not reachable let me fix it first 
let me fix it quickly okay now it's on M it may take some time I don't know why it's not uh, as fast as we thought so I'm gonna go get online download the device connect and we load the program now we start the module and finish now you can see here uh, the green light is blinking it means that the program is already running now okay now I'm gonna try to ping this virtual PRC from here 172.18.2.131 okay now it's on okay great so we go back to here and I just minimize this one for testing for pause okay I'm gonna close this go back to our full stable dish to make sure that uh, our uh, data is coming to the other side in here Okay, now on the here, I, this is just a testing purpose, so I'm going to uh, connect to the Siemens TCP Ethernet. Okay, I call it as a uh, Siemens, I don't know, like a S7-1500. So I'm going to choose uh, the router here, 129, and next, I just next here, unmodified and done here so the, add the PLC here okay this is I'm going to put the IP of the PLC and yep just next next I think it's gonna next 102 yes that's a common use normally used I okay done now I'm gonna add the, the address so how do we take the address here the easiest way to take the address is you can see on the force table and then just copy paste the address like this uh, okay I go here this is AI01 Oh no, I'm sorry, my bad. This is uh, the input, so I, I should take this one on the forge table actually. So I should take this address actually. Go back here and paste this. And we want to show the value in floating point. I don't think this is, uh, I think this is error address what was this I maybe it's not supporting flood oh okay I don't need to write like P here I just need to delete this one okay so now we open the quick client and we can see what this is this PLC is good now you can see here that the float the value that we got here is zero still zero I think let me change it to the monitoring mode here yes zero and the forcing table also make it okay we're gonna force the value here so since uh, the integer value I used here for to 20 uh, this is a hard uh, hard uh, no not hard analog uh, 4 to 20 so uh, the range integer uh, will be from 0 to, to uh, 27,648 so if we take like a half value of it it's approximately this one right so we're gonna copy this value and paste here uh, okay 
okay and here I show the address is selected but not yet being forced so I'm gonna right click here force and force all yes so now the half of the 500 value is 250 so we're gonna see here the value shown right okay perfectly so uh, we're gonna change the value a bit like 10,000 something like that and force force all yeah, and we value change here around this one mm, this is 1000 bad like like this maybe okay 180 it's near okay showing the perfect value same as that showing here like a rounded value here three three value rounding here so uh, that's how you can use the PLC sim um, I hope this video uh, will help you a lot to solve the problem of the integration before uh, you can simulate the program before you go to uh, uh, implement uh, directly on the field so you can pass it like simulation uh, you can simulate uh, your PLC uh, your program to another HMI or something like that okay thanks for watching guys hope uh, enjoying the video uh, thanks a lot I'll see you on the next video bye